Welcome back to Beer Tips, everybody. This is Dan, and we're going to do some Hazy O, Hazy IPA today by Dogfish Head. Looking forward to this. Um, I'm very rarely disappointed by Dogfish Head brews, um, and so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boy. Hey, everybody. So Dogfish Head Hazy O is sort of part of my New England IPA series for the summer. Um, it's also a, um, a brand new beer that I haven't tried yet. Not brand new, it's been out there, but brand new for me, so it should be interesting. Uh, it says our Oh So Juicy Hazy IPA brewed with one, malted, two, rolled, three, naked oats, and four, oat milk. So I'm actually expecting this to be um, on the sweeter side. For a New England IPA. Um, it is 7% alcohol by volume. I'll go ahead and pour it in the glass for you so you can see what it looks like. And somehow I forgot how to pour beer in the interim. But um, nice golden hue. Doesn't have a whole bunch of crazy sediment floating around in it, which I like. Um, Oh yeah, yeah, I can smell it. I can smell the hops on the aroma. So, you know, you get a little bit of that like, you know, pine and resin um, aroma, but it's very, very well balanced with a ton of like tropical fruit. I think that you can definitely smell some like, you know, orange rind and orange peel in there, um, some pineapple, um, maybe even Maybe even some I guess vanilla syrup. I'm not sure exactly what that is. A little bit of honey. Um, but it's primarily like a lot of tropical fruits coming off on the nose. Oh, yeah, as I taste it, um, it's got a really, really strong carbonation up front, actually. Um, it tickles the tongue. Like, the, the, the mouthfeel is like, Really, really, really powerful and potent. I mean, I think this is overall like a really balanced New England style IPA. Um, it's got, again, a ton of that like pineapple up front. Like a lot of pineapple, a little bit of pine resin, um, but it's well masked by, I guess it's, it's the oats that really make it silky smooth. And so that, you know, whatever bite there is from, you know, the, the kind of like pine resin and hops on the front end, it's really balanced well, um, by, I guess the rolled oats. That, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking or oat milk. Um, if you ever had oat milk, that's kind of the effect of oat milk. It's very smooth. It's, um, very, very sweet. Um, it's kind of one of these high calorie milk alternatives, but it's also, you know, really good for you. It's also not considered on the lighter end. Um, so like fat wise, lighter end, calorie wise, not so light, but even so it, it is sweeter. It is very, very easy to drink even on its own. And I kind of get that with the beer. The New England IPAs, um, can be like, like really, really strong on the front end with that tropical fruit. Um, and citrus fruit or and sometimes a little bit too strong and cloyingly so maybe a little bit too like hop heavy up front i don't get that at all this is just a really nice beer with a lot of like nice things going on with it that you know once again dogfish head doesn't um disappoint uh, if you've ever been to delaware and you've had the opportunity to do their tasting room um it's really a great experience because there's a lot of beers there that you don't get to taste um you know if you're living somewhere else it they don't bottle them um, or they used to bottle them, but don't anymore. So I highly recommend going to their tasting room um, in Delaware. Plus, hey, you're close to Rehoboth Beach, right? Either way, um, I go ahead and I give a strong thumbs up to Dogfish Head's Hazy O. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please subscribe if you did. Uh, smash the like as well. And I look forward to talking to you all really, really soon about my next beer. Happy summer. <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.